yo, what's crack and Challenger? I'm your host, James Moreland. Today we are out in the middle of an awesome little pond lake. Today we're gonna be going looking around at the plants, the fish, and also just the entire ecosystem as a whole. And it's super cool, I've been here before. We're actually out on kayaks. My dad is filming right now, huge shouts to them. But make sure you guys stay to the end of the video. This is really, really awesome and really fun. All right guys, see you out there. All right, this is actually challenging the wild. This is hashtag challenge the wild right here. There, that is so awesome. It's just bushels of it. And there's some of the algae down there. So it is really windy, but we can actually see some nacarus, some etalota, and some hornwort. And you can actually see some, there's a lot of bird feathers and stuff, but there's some nacarus and there's some hornwort. So that is really cool to see these plants IRL, so yeah. All right guys, so here's my kayak. I actually have the net right on the back in case I wanna catch some fish later in the video. But underneath here, I actually have a tripod that I'll be using out later to film, and I also have some big boots on so I can actually step a little bit in the water. And yeah. So I'm actually gonna be heading out to a cove over there. So I'm gonna have to get in the kayak, go myself all the way out there. It's gonna take about five minutes, 10 minutes. So I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, I'm in the middle, or not really the middle. I'm actually just took off from the lake. But as you can see, I have uh, the kayak. I have the little, the paddle thingies, but here's my camera bag. Inside the camera bag, I have my Sony a6000 and my mic for it, which are kind of expensive. I put those inside a plastic bag and then have it inside this camera bag. So if I fall over, it should be okay, but I have my iPhone and I have my GoPro. So hopefully I don't tip over. I put sunscreen on my face too, so if I'm oily, that's why. But I guess I'm gonna have a cinematic or like a montage of me rowing out there with my GoPro in my mouth. So I'll see you guys then. All right guys, so we just made it to our first stop. So I just crossed from over there and we were actually in this little like, like cool area. So basically this is like the shore, the edge of it, but you can see they have a lot of branches, a lot of sticks coming in here and it's just so cool. I'm trying to keep my distance from all these stuff. I actually parked my little raft in this little driftwood, but there are tons of spiders and the spiders actually go really close to the water and they can get onto your boat. And I do not want that to happen because I don't want to have to like swim back and probably fall into the water. But already we can already see some aquatic plants. I think that's actually green camboma and also a type of algae. I'll be talking about all the plants um, soon. I'm actually going to try docking, getting on land, setting up a tripod and actually talking to you guys about these awesome plants and also the fish. Um, we're also going to get a lot of inspiration for my aquariums. So you can actually see the aquascapes of the plants and the, and the trees actually going into the water. I actually did something that this recently on my 150 gallon aquarium. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit more later in the video. So I'm going to try getting a better spot and set everything up and I'll be back in a sec. All right, so I'm no longer going out to the side. You can actually see that whole little difference in the water column over there. You can see how there's like a little pile. I'm actually going to be going over there because something awesome is actually there. All right, so right there is actually a huge bush of aquatic plants. So I'm super excited. I'm actually kind of off course right now going to the side. Um, I'm going to rearrange and try getting back over there to show you guys what's going on. I do have my iPhone X and that's technically waterproof. So I might be able to put my phone underneath the water and show you guys. Oh, there was a fish over there. Oh my gosh. I just saw a fish. Um, I really want to get some footage for you guys of some fish going on, but I don't know. I'll try doing that later in the video. So now we are actually on top of the bush. So I'm going to scoop out some of this. Um, this, oh sweet, okay, this is what I wanted to talk about. Okay, so this plant is actually not really a plant. This is actually called cara, and this is actually a form of algae or microalgae in, in freshwater ponds. So you can actually see it has like a stem-like feature, it actually has tons of leaves coming off, but this is actually an algae, so that really surprised me when I found that out. But after doing enough research, it's actually a really cool form of algae. So what's great for this is all of the plants basically are great hiding spots for fish and baby fish. Um, so you can see like the characteristics of being spread out. Guppy grass basically does the same thing, but this is really awesome. So I'm going to try getting some more plants and showing you guys what we have. All right, so I'm on this whole little mesh of plants. There's a cicada out there and stuff, so I'm sorry if the audio isn't the best, but yeah. You can actually see some anacurus or, or etalota, and this is another really cool plant. Actually, gonna see if I can reach in and just grab it. Actually, there's some right there. 
So this is actually Nacarus or Edeloda, and it's a really cool plant. This is actually a native species to Pennsylvania and, and illegal in Wisconsin and quite a few states actually. But it's a really nice plant, and I actually cut my thumb earlier, so that's why I have a band-aid. But, but you can see like the characteristics of it. It's also a really elongated plant that have leaves that are spread out on it. It's just a really cool plant. Um, and here's some more of it. And now I really want to look for another plant that they have and that they are known for. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to have to put my phone underneath the water to show you guys this. Um, that is so cool. There's literally a whole bush of these plants growing naturally. I've never really seen anything like this. It is super cool. Oh, you can see it right there. Ah. You can actually see it right there. That is so awesome. It's just bushels of it. And there's some of the algae down there. It is just so beautiful. And there's actually driftwood. What? Oh my gosh, there's driftwood down there. That is so cool. And then there's, oh, that's the plant I want to talk about right there. This plant is actually called hornwort. I don't know if I'll be able to grab it out of this, this clump. But hornwort is an amazing plant. It's also spread out. And a lot of people have this in their aquariums. I actually have it in my aquariums. It's not native to this area or not exclusive to this area. And you can actually see some more bushes of that. That is so awesome. I really wanted to show you guys this. You can see the plants are actually rooted to the ground. They're probably like a meter, a meter and a half tall, um, basically like a yard and a half tall, but that is so awesome. Okay, if I, could, if I could show you guys one thing, it would be that because it's like a coral reef, but it's like freshwater plants. I just love that and it's really cool. So I might want to go down there. It's really shallow and set everything up down there. All right guys, so this is actually the shore area. We're about six inches down. Um, to the ground and you can actually see the substrate it's so cool it has like a golden color to it and then you can see the edge so there's actually a lot of moss growing on the edge and it stoops over and some other small ferns and this is just so cool to see how it blends with the actual pond and you can see the shore over there um, I kind of want to get out but at the same time a spider just got on the boat and I was really scared so I don't know if I want to get out for sure but it is really, really cool. All right, guys, so we just arrived at one of the best spots ever. I'm sorry for the cicadas, but basically this is all inaccurate. This plant, you could sell a bushel for about $3 and a bushel would have six. So if you're looking at all these plants, all of this just hoards and like so much of it, you can make a killing. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but I'm actually gonna get out of the boat and just look at the moss. That is so awesome for like a natural terrarium. All right guys, so I just got off. You can see everything out here, but I'm actually gonna grab the tripod, which is right here. So you can see the ground cover, everything out here. The uh, the substrate again is so cool. The ground, the soil, everything. And there are a lot of bugs on the surface, but look at all those plants. Now you may be like, James, why don't you grab some of these plants, bring them back to your aquarium, put them in there and you'd have free plants. I'm super sweaty, I'm sorry guys. So the thing is, there are a couple problems with doing that. The first one being like legally, I don't think you're allowed to do it by state law and taking plants from the wild. And not only that, also the fact that these plants are probably infected with a parasites. They probably have like snails, other things that you don't want to get into your aquarium. And I guess the main thing overall is these plants are part of an ecosystem and when you take something that's like crucial and really important to the ecosystem you take it you destroy it that could honestly affect the animals the fish everything in the entire system so we definitely do not want to do that with any plants and like the same thing with like trees and deforestation that's an area that animals are actually living in so plants and fish and snails everything else are living in these plant sections and when you take them from that environment it really could be bad for the entire ecosystem i'm kind of into terrariums i actually have an ant farm i'm building soon so I'm actually gonna get some shots of the moss and everything that they have. And the moss is like really, really cool. Um, I'm actually on a mat of it. But sorry for the cicadas and everything. This is like, the other day I was here, it was a lot quieter and that's really why I wanted to film. But yeah, I'm gonna get some shots of that, some cinematic shots and I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, um, I actually heard some rustling out there and I don't know if there are bears in the woods um, or like deer or like anything else scary like that. So I'm actually gonna get on my raft soon, but I do wanna take a look at a couple of these plants. I actually think this is a fungus, this white stuff. And there's an ant right there. You can see all the different types of moss, but uh, geez, my heart's actually really racing right now. Um, maybe the last challenge is a wild video. Um, oh yeah. All right, this is actually challenging the wild. This is hashtag challenge the wild right here. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Likes would help a lot, especially since I took a long time making this video. We're gonna attach the kayaks with tons of string and ropes and everything. But yeah, make sure you drop that like right now. And look at that, these little bunches of moss. Like, I would really want to take the moss, but again, it's the same thing with the entire ecosystem. Um, all this together works as one to create like a beautiful, amazing ecosystem. Um, I'm trying to look for some fish. I'm going to start switching to my phone and packing my camera up um, to get you some footage of that. 
but hopefully I catch some fish. I do have a net. My dad and my sister are actually catching fish currently, but they're actually using fishing rods and just catch and release. So yeah. All right guys, I'm gonna get in the raft and start heading out. Alright guys, so right now my dad and my sister are actually fishing, but they're actually holding it for me right now. But currently, I came back over here, I might go fishing, I'd probably put the camera away. I want to recap the plants that we saw. So the plants that we all had were all really cool. And the plants we had had a lot of things that were similar, and there were a lot of similarities. So one real major thing is that they all fanned out. All the Anacurus, the Camboma, the Hornwort, all of those plants decided to spread out, and that's great for fish. Because the fish can actually hide when they're babies inside of that, and also grows microorganisms that they can feed on. So this entire living system works completely, like really well together and also the fish poop over time that eventually fertilizes the plants. So it's like an entire ecosystem. It's really awesome and this is something I strive for with my aquariums. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all on the Flippy Flop. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't and the notification bell. I will catch you all on the Flippy Flop. See you guys later. Bye.